When was the last time you went for a walk along the lakeshore and didn't spot a piece of plastic? Chances are, unless you live in a very isolated area, plastic is a problem you see daily. But what if there was a way to take this waste, turn it into something valuable, and solve two crises at once? Is it possible to use the plastic problem to clean up our environment and build a better future at the exact same time? Perhaps the answer to both lies in our own backyard. My name's Kelly Rogers. I'm a managing partner at Ecoplast Solutions here in Lloydminster. Decided to set up shop here and make a go at a new innovative technology and a startup company. Ecoplast is a composite housing manufacturer and builder. So we manufacture composite panels made from 100% recycled plastic water bottles. And we engineer and turn that into custom panels that we use to build housing, residential structures. A single family home can use from 600,000 to a million upcycled plastic water bottles. It's pretty difficult to imagine what a house made of recycled plastic bottles is at first, but it's basically a structural insulated panel. It's a structural foam core and then it's laminated with composite skins on both sides, making it a structural insulated panel. That's your insulation, your structural, your air barrier, vapor barrier, all in one. So we're kind of taking the all in one approach as far as simplifying the building process. There'll be a foundation done on site. Then we'll flat pack, bring the panels out to site on a truck, and then stand them up and put them together. They get pieced together, big custom panels, very quickly. So kind of like Lego, the way it gets pieced together. Everything has a very intentional purpose, so it's very fast on site. And then once they're put together, we don't use any mechanical joints. There's no screws and nails like traditional construction. It's fiberglass together. All the joints are completely sealed and seamed together, and that's how we create a completely monolithic structure. We're ready to install windows and doors, and then you're at lockup instantly. It can be quite visually different, but we can also use all different types of exterior finishes to make it look more traditional too, which allows that flexibility in design to kind of hit different parts of the market. It's kind of thinking outside the box to take a whole assembly and, you know, include it all in one. I think that just in itself is a game changer. That changes everything. A common question with our product is, is there any off-gassing? And the straight answer is no, there's not. Once the plastic is melted down and extruded into a closed cell foam, and there's no off-gassing of the foam itself, once we do the assembly on site and the composites are attached and the laminates are put on, there's a 72 hour off-gassing phase where it is curing and past that, there's no further off-gassing. But because it is non-organic material, it does not rot, it doesn't mold. It's extremely weather resilient, very strong, very high strength to weight ratio. It's got a very high effective R value as well. So that's one of the other biggest things about the product itself is how energy efficient our structures actually are. It's kind of a hot topic right now to eliminate all plastic and reduce all plastic. And we're just doing our best to make a dent on plastic that's already there. And there's no better place to, to use it in my mind than have it act as the, the structural and insulation of your home that's gonna last for years and years and years. This 
plastic bottle is actually full of other plastic bottles, right? Correct. Walk me through sort of what stage we're, at, we're looking at here. This is the first stage of the whole process where the plastic bottles get shredded into small little pieces, as you can see in that bottle. From here, obviously this is gonna take and go through a sort of process to get us to this point where we have these little pellets. Talk me through what this is exactly. It goes through an extrusion process that it ends up being a completely organic material. If it would burn, it would just emit CO and CO2. It removes all the inorganic materials from plastic. Very cool. We've got to get from this stage to here, which is essentially the panels that you work with, right? Correct. So talk me through that a little bit. It gets blown into a closed cell foam that you can see right here. So this is completely closed cell organic material. So what is this, like a square foot? That is one square foot with 192 recycled water bottles. Wow, that's amazing. 192 bottles all in this one little piece right here. Correct. And when you start looking at this and thinking about how many of these blocks you have that are, obviously they're larger, but how many of these you have that are going into building a home, that's a lot of bottles. It is, yeah. It's, it's pretty cool to see the whole process go from shredded up bottles to one of the homes that you see behind us right there. It's almost impossible to talk about these plastic panels without mentioning everyone's favorite childhood building block system, but just like a Lego that's been left on the floor, these panels prove to be nearly indestructible. It's crazy how strong these panels actually are, the strength to weight ratio of them. For example, our six inch residential panel that we use to construct our homes was put in a, one, a wind tunnel test and they put the equivalent of 326 mile per hour winds on it and it, it they couldn't break the panel in the end. So that's equivalent to over a double cap five hurricane. So there hasn't been wind on, on planet Earth that has touched that yet. So that was a really impressive test result that came out of some of the testing we've done. Being able to withstand extreme weather events, wind, hail, rain, the, the weather can throw anything at you nowadays and it seems to be only getting worse. It speaks volumes for the material that it is and we see that being a huge advantage for the durability and resilience of a home. Depending on where you're at, we can come in quite a bit cheaper than conventional build or kind of on average, we're about on par with stick build for cost. It's not only affordable, but it's a high performing structure that's going to last longer, extremely durable, climate resilient, all those things. We've had a couple of really hot days. I think it was plus 30 yesterday, plus 28 today. And uh, I wanna show you something. And this is what I wanted to show you. So plus 28 to plus 30 outside, hot, muggy, and inside still nice and cool, 18 degrees. So that is how energy efficient this building is. The amount of plastic that's out there, the numbers are astonishing. And the amount of plastic that's actually collected and recycled and reused, I think it's only 9% of recycled plastic is actually even reused or made into, like upcycled into another product. So we're very proud. Our company has used over 9.3 million bottles to date just in the builds we've done in three short years. And then the sad reality to that is there's not a lot of uses out there for that plastic. We could build up to 3,500 homes a year for the next 40 years if not another bottle was sold tomorrow. And the reality is, is, is in Canada, it's still getting incinerated, you know, it's still ending up in landfills and, and the oceans and, and affecting our waterways and yeah, our landfills and, and the environment around us. It's extremely important to have a use for the plastic that, that is out there already. Along with combating the plastic crisis, we're combating a housing crisis that Canada is facing right now. 
Everybody I know is talking about housing affordability right now, and that's something that we are combating as well. We're working with many different groups and communities, especially around here in, in Alberta and Saskatchewan in rural areas, to offer affordable housing solutions. We work with multiple different First Nations, and we seem to just tick all the boxes to some of the challenges that they face. Canada alone is short three and a half million houses, short of what we're already building by 2030. So that number jumps out like it, you can't even fathom what needs to be done to hit those targets, right? So in the way that we're building with prefabrication and modular builds, I think that's the way to get there. Not only is our focus on the affordability aspect of it, but being able to do that while offering a better product that can cost you less down the road. It's extremely rewarding. There's a lot of work left to do, but us even being able to, to combat the plastic crisis and have a use for it and, and make the, the difference that we are making, it's extremely rewarding. You can be proud to go home at the end of the day and, and there's no better feeling than when we're on site with our whole crew. After just two days, we've erected a 1,600 square foot home and to know that you know, upwards of a million recycled pop bottles and plastic bottles went into building that, it's a pretty cool feeling. You know, as you have kids and you start to think about future generations and some of the things that need to happen to keep our environment around us. It's very rewarding and very proud of what our team is doing to be able to, to combat that and turn it into something, something of extreme value. From the climate crisis to the housing crisis, we're facing so many challenges at this specific make or break point in our history. Luckily, there are individuals and companies out there working on more sustainable solutions. And just like we've seen here at Ecoplast, the problems of our past may have been worth the waste when it comes to building better for the future.